What's up guys, it's Kenneth from Gundam Explores. So today I'm going to be installing an LED light on my car. So I had the idea to make a quick tutorial video for you guys, just to show you guys how to wire up a rocker switch. Check it out. So here we have a standard rocker switch. It's a really reliable switch. It's a very durable switch. It's a very good switch to, to use on your car to light up things like LED lights. As the name suggests, it rocks back and forth like a seesaw, hence the name a rocker switch. So this one has an LED switch behind it, so when you put it on, the LED goes on. When you put it off, it goes off. Okay, so before we get started, let me quickly show you the basics of this switch. So when you turn it around, you'll see that there are three prongs. The top one is brass, then there's a center and a bottom. The brass colored one is the negative so that you're going to connect with the wire to the negative on your battery the center prong is going to be the wire coming from the battery source so in other words it's, it'll be the positive in and then the last prong or the bottom prong that's going to be what's going out to your light or whatever it is that you're trying to give power to so yeah, I have an example of an LED light that you can fit onto the car, but this principle goes for anything that you're trying to power. So on this LED light, you'll see that there are two wires, a positive and a negative wire. So from the LED, this positive wire, this wire is going to connect to the bottom prong on the light switch. So positive wire from the, the light or the accessory that you want to power is going to connect to the bottom prong on the light switch. The negative wire, you're going to connect this, you, earth, you need to earth this wire. So what I do is I connect this wire directly to the negative terminal on the battery. That's basically how simple it is. I'm going to show you some tools that you need to do the wiring properly. And then we're going to quickly get this thing wired up and just show you how it's, when it's wired up, how it works. Okay guys, so this list is definitely not an extensive list and there might be a few things that you need extra. But what I'm going to be using today is my basic what vehicle wire. I've got some, I think they call this convulated tubing, but basically it's just like a plastic sleeve to protect the wire from rubbing as you go off-road. Obviously you're going to need the light switch, you're going to need a crimping tool, you're going to need a soldering iron with your soldering wire. You're going to need some cable ties to make the wiring look neat and to run it along the lines of your vehicle. You're going to need some insulation tape. I don't know if I said this, the LED. And then this is where, depending on the exact application for what you're trying to power, I've got some lugs, but you'll, you'll maybe need some lugs or ferrules or something. But in this case, all that I'm going to use are these three and then these lugs that I'm going to connect to the battery terminal. Okay guys, so I've shown you what you guys need for this installation. I've run through the basics of the wire switch. So now I'm going to do a little demonstration on the actual wiring. Okay, so I'm just going to do a basic wiring quickly. So there's your switch with the three prongs. You're going to take the negative wire that will connect to the negative terminal in your battery. Connect that to the top prong on your switch. The positive one, you're going to connect to the center. So that's your, that's going to come from the, that wire is going to come from the positive terminal on your battery. Then on your actual light, you're going to take the positive wire and just now for the demonstration, you're going to connect that to the bottom prong on your switch. Just going to do that like this for now. Then the last thing that you need to do is the, the negative on your light is going to be connected to the negative terminal on your battery. So just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to have these two connected quick. I'm going to take the wires, negative terminal, positive terminal. I don't know if in the light you're going to see the switch. But there's the light, here's the switch. You connect the negative from the LED to the negative on your battery. Like for demonstration purposes again only. And there you have a light switch that works. So you'll see when you put it on, 
the LED light goes on. I don't know if you can see it on the switch. Turns the light on as well. Off, on, off, on. And then just something else I want to show you guys. If you ever want to connect a light switch to an LED light or another accessory, the only thing that you need to do now to get the LED light on the switch from not working is you just remove the negative terminal from the top, uh, from the top bra switch. So now the LED light doesn't work. When you put the switch off, it's off. When you put it on, the light still works, but the LED light on your switch does not work. So that's the basic wiring technique that you need to implement when you wire something to the battery of your vehicle. Hey guys, so that's the basic wiring technique you need to know when you want to power an LED or another power accessory to your car. In this video, I have not covered how to solder properly, which fuses to use, how to use heat shrink or insulation tape. So if it's something you guys want me to expand on a bit and give you some more detail on how to do the wiring properly, drop a comment down below, let me know. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.